My name is Ben Jane. I'm the farm manager at Flourish Farms, Colorado Aquaponics. We're at the grow house and uh, we rent a space from the grow house. It's 3,000 square feet. Um, aquaponics is the com combination of aquaculture or fish farming and hydroponics or growing plants without soil. Like traditional hydroponics, the, the water is, um, has nutrients added from the fish waste. Unlike hydroponics, um, it is fish waste rather than chemical fertilizers. Some of the crops that we might use in aquaponics would be leafy greens. They do very well because the nutrient profile in an aquaponics system is high in nitrogen and lower in phosphorus or the things, the nutrients that you would need for growing uh, fruiting and flowering crops. In our system, we use tilapia and koi. Uh, tilapia are very popular as an aquaponics fish because they are fresh water and they uh, are actually very resilient. They'll tolerate a lot of different uh, water quality conditions that other species might not tolerate. The water comes from the fish tank, is pumped up into the media bed, fills up, and then there's a bell siphon here, at which point when the water le reaches the top of the siphon, then it automatically drains back out into the fish tank. The idea here is that the water is soiled by the fish waste and then brought up to the plant roots that then subsequently clean the water. Clean water is then returned to the fish tank. This system is something that you would be able to fit on a patio or a backyard, maybe a small greenhouse. It's only about a 100 gallon system, um, about 12 square feet of growing area. And you can see we're really not very densely planted. We could plant a lot more crops in this space. Herbs, uh, leafy greens, anything that you'd want. A lot of people will even do um, small peppers or tomato plants if they have the space. But any vessel of water, in fact, any aquarium is really half of an aquaponics system. All you need to do is somehow get that aquarium water to the plant roots and you have aquaponics. Um, we have an example of a system that utilizes a 10 gallon fish tank. There's about five small hybrid striped bass in that tank and the, the grow bed on top of it is really nothing more than a dish pan, something that you dry your, or wash your dishes in. Uh, some of the more um, expensive items in setting up like that would be things like the pump um, or water filter. In fact, in some cases, even the fish tank itself. Um, on the other hand, uh, they can be as big as you really want them to be. Uh, our farm is 11,000 gallons of water, 1,500 gallons of that is fish tank space and all the rest of it is cultivated plants. At